Hello. Okay, so this is the back side of lesson 7.6. I just assigned 7.6 in Think Central. So it says sort the shapes into three groups, squares, rectangles that are not squares, not squares or rectangles, and draw each shape in the correct place on the sorting mat. So they give us a picture here. So we've got an open figure here that's not a closed figure. We've got something that's not a shape here. We've got something that we uh, don't know what this is. This is actually called a trapezoid, but we don't know that yet. This and this and this, these are four-sided figures because we were working with squares and rectangles. So it says sort the shapes into three groups, squares. So I'm looking for squares first, and I'm finding squares. Squares are ones that have all four of the same size lines here on the sides. So all this line, this side is the same length as this side and this side and this side. So all four of the sides are the same length or equal length. When I look at this yellow one, I can see that this side is this long, but I can see that this side is a little bit longer. So this is not a square. So this red one here is a square. So I'm gonna draw that one here. And that's not a square, that's not a square, that's not a square. This is not a square because I see long sides. But this little one over here, this one is a square. These are all the same length. So I'm gonna draw this one over here. It says rectangles that are not squares. Okay, so this one is not a square. We have two shorter sides and two longer sides. This one, this green one is not a square. So I'm gonna draw this one here. And then over here it says not rectangles or squares. So the cloud is not a rectangle or a square. This trapezoid is not a rectangle or a square. And this open figure is not a rectangle or a square. So now I've sorted my, my shapes into three groups. All right, that's the first thing. The second thing I want to show you is how I can make different figures using some shapes. So I have cut these out. When you get your math book, you're gonna have access to these pages and you'll be able to cut these out too. But I'm gonna put these over here. These ones are circles. That one's a, this is a trapezoid. As you can see, this trapezoid is made out of three smaller triangles. This is a half of a circle, covers up half of that. There's another half of a circle. A circle could also be made out of four equal little pieces like that. This is a rectangle, and this rectangle is made out of two triangles. And here's another rectangle made out of two smaller triangles. And here's a square made out of two triangles. So I can use shapes like this triangle here to make other shapes. So for example, this square here, if I, if I, if I put this triangle on, on top of there, or I put it on top of here, I can use other triangles, like four of them, to make the same square. So I've cut out all these pieces and I'm just showing you here how this bigger rectangle is made out of a little, a long skinny rectangle and then four of those orange squares. And you probably remember these because we had um, playing pieces like these in our classroom that you guys have played with before and you guys have made all kinds of things out of them. So here's another rectangle. If I put it on top of here, you can see that this rectangle is made out of two smaller skinnier rectangles and that this rectangle is made out of two triangles. So what I want you to notice is that you can make bigger shapes out of smaller shapes and you can make the same shape. And here's another hexagon. These are hexagons. These are circles. These are all rectangles right here. All of them are rectangles and some of them are special rectangles and the special ones are these ones. I'm going to separate them here. These over here are special rectangles because these all have equal length sides and I can put them on top of each other and I can show you all the many different ways that I can make this. And this is called a square. These are all squares. These are rectangles. So notice all the different ways I can make a rectangle. And I can even make a skinnier rectangle right here. 
All right, so I want you to take notice. This is a triangle, three corners and three sides. Rectangle, four corners and four sides that are equal in length is a special rectangle called a square. These are also rectangles, but they are not squares because they have long sides. And these are called circles. And this is a 